There's no object or activity that will make you happy. And this sounds very depressing for many, maybe even triggering. We might turn off the video right now. But if you don't, then just hear me out. That this belief in happiness being found in objects or activities is the source of our suffering. That when I believe that an object is going to make me happy or an activity is going to make me happy, I then seek objects and activities in search of happiness. Now, what is that experience like? An ex experience of trying to buy my happiness, sports car, a home, get a good job, this activity that I'm calling a job, this is going to make me happy. Finding the right partner. That's going to make me happy. But my experience is that these objects, these activities actually don't make me happy. Otherwise, I would be fulfilled. Otherwise, I would be happy. But when we have this belief of, what does my happiness look like? It usually consists of objects and activities. Does it not? It does. If you were to paint me this happy picture, your image of happiness, it would consist of objects and activities. What do you have? What are you doing? But nothing that you could have Nothing that you could do could be the source of the happiness that you seek. Happiness is what you are. You want to be happy, but you can't be happy by having or doing things. There's no amount of having and doing that will create happiness because really happiness cannot be created. It's only unhappiness that can be created. Unhappiness is created by seeking happiness in objects and activities. Now at this point, it kind of sounds frustrating because all you know is objects and activities. It sounds kind of hopeless. And two ways to hear that. Well, yeah, it is. And happiness is hopeless. When you're happy, there's, there's no hope. Hope is always about the future. This hope to be happy implies that you are currently not happy. I'm not happy, but I'm hoping to be happy. The 
how am I going to be happy? Well, why don't I just have more of this or do more of that? But that just creates more unhappiness. So I'm now just in this, this bind here. Because it seems like there's no option. There's no other option. What are you saying? That there's no objects that are going to make me happy? There's no activities that are going to make me happy? Then what's going to make me happy? Where do I find this happiness if it's not in objects or activities? And for many, this is where the the spiritual journey starts. You're starting to see experientially that there's no objects, no amount of objects, that there's no activities and no amount of activity that's going to make you happy. So when we turn away from objects and activities, we discover that which is not an object and not an activity. We discover happiness. Happiness is not an object and it's not an activity. It's what you are. 